Okay, now it's time to show you how to make Christmas cards easy. Great idea is to make like 25 Christmas cards out of my new die cut score it Teresa Collins cards. They are double sided, they're heavy weight, which is great. Very easy. So if you prefer one design over the other, you just have to pop it out and use that side since it's double sided. Very easy. You just take the cards, you have an envelope, and you have a card right on one sheet of paper. So here's your envelope, and then you'll do the same thing with your card. You're just going to pop that out. Very simple. So you have those sheets, and then also at the top you have a sheet of icons that you can use to decorate your envelopes. So how we do this is you're going to take your score it, and then whatever image you want to be on um, the outside, you're going to score it down. So if you want this to be the outside of your envelope, then make sure you lay that face down on your score it board. So you'll take that, you're going to take your score it. This is wonderful, so simple. You're just going to take it, go directly on the line. Very simple. Again, you're going to just go around and you can just line it up. And it has a little blade thing that you just kind of put it and it just guides it for you. Very simple. Put a little pressure and you can see that. And then once you've folded that, it makes it quite easy to fold every time. So I've already done another card with all of the sides. And I want to show you how you assemble these cards and envelopes. You're going to need to use your glossy accents a little bit. Um, you want an adhesive, and I found that this works the best because you just need a small amount, and I just put it right on the inside flap of my envelope, and I place that down. Place that down, and I like to hold it for just a couple seconds. It dries actually pretty fast. And now I've created my envelope. So decorated both sides. And then the same thing with your card. You're just going to take that and you're going to score it right in the middle of your card. And when you're done, you will have a Christmas card, just like this. So what you can do after you have your card and your envelope, you can use the icons right here that are cut directly from the top of the paper and then you can use some of the Christmas stamps. Let's see this is one of my Christmas ones and you can stamp this on your cardstock. Make sure you stamp it on the back side if you're doing a textured cardstock so you get a nice imprint. Here's another one that says checklist. These are the three pieces that you'll need to decorate your cards. This gift basket is holding all 25 of our cards. It's so reasonable to be able to do this and plus it's so nice to make it yourself and so I want to show how darling is this here's your envelope here's the stamped out stamp image here's the address and on the back side I've used the cutout from the top of the card there's one card here's another of the inside so here we have the envelope I mean the card, and then you have the stamp right here. This is another stamp. This is the round Christmas stamp. And you'll just place those on your clear acrylic block and stamp those. And I like to save time. I found that I like to stamp many stamps at the same time. This way, you cut down on time, and you'll be able to do all 25 cards in a faster way. Anyway, finished product, 25 cards for Christmas. Merry Christmas. Hope you enjoy this. Thanks.